Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple profiles uh, for your Razer mouse or keyboards. So for this video, we're going to uh, start with the keyboard. Um, so first part, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, and then the second part, I'm going to tell you a couple uses for it, or I might just mix them together, uh, explaining as I go. So first thing you want to do is uh, select your device. So I'm going to do it for my keyboard. Uh, so right here, you see this is my default class. So I have two classes right now. One is uh, called Valorant and CS Code. This is what I use for Valorant CS Code. And uh, one is default. So let's start off uh, with the default class. So you're already going to have a class here. Uh, what you're going to do is you can uh, click this button, rename it to whatever you want. Mine is default. I'm going to keep it that. So as you can see, I have, um, so everything is default in my default class, except for these two keys, uh, page up and uh, the, the minus button. So this button I use for muting and unmuting my mic. Uh, so when I press it, it, it mutes my mic, and then when I press it again, it unmutes my mic. And this is the key that switches my profile, the page up key. So uh, you're gonna click on it. Uh, well, first you need to make the second profile. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add. So it adds a new profile. So I'm going to go here, rename this to test second profile. So this is your second profile. So now it shows everything as default. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go to your default profile and then click on whatever key you want to use to switch your profile. So I have my page up key because I, I never use it uh, uh, in my like day to day tasks. So it's just useless for me. So I just I, I'm using this. So you click on the page up key it's going to be default for you. You're going to go to switch profile right here and um, you're going to hit specific profile because you're trying to go for the specific specific profile. But if you have multiple profiles, uh, let's say um, you have two, three, four, you can make however many you want. Then you can select one of these options. I, f I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. So you can set page up to cycle up profile. So it will go to the next profile and then page down to uh, maybe like go back a profile and then you can cycle like that. But uh, for this video, we're going to go to specific profile. So right here, um, you're going to hit specific profile, uh, select this, and I'm going to select um, the profile that we just made test second profile so this here it asks you if you wants to switch the lighting of the whole keyboard and I do recommend doing this just because so you know which profile you're on so right now if you uh, if you can see let's go to the lighting and make the profile so if you if I go to the lighting go to uh, chroma studio so this is my default lighting profile so as you can see uh, it says default here and then I have one for uh, CSGO Valorant but uh, so you're gonna have a default here or it might be called something else you can do the same thing click here rename um, you can select a color scheme the way you select a color scheme is you select all the keys and then you can go to like static and uh, select a color so this all became this all just became red um, uh, so you want to make a a color scheme for your default profile and then you're gonna do um, add uh, and then so this is your second one so you can rename to uh, the same as your actual profile name it doesn't matter but it's just easier to uh, refer to so we're just gonna do uh, text uh, test second profile so right here let's say for this I want to um, since that was static I'm just gonna select all and let's say I want this as blue so as you can see, my default profile is red and my test profile is all blue. So this is going to help us uh, figure out which profile we are currently on. So let's go back to uh, the keyboard. So we're here on our default profile. So this is page up was the key that we decided that we're going to go with. So right here, we're going to select our test second profile and we're going to say uh, switch the lighting when the profile is switched. So we select our second profile lighting and we, we hit save. So now when you uh, press this key, page up, you get a you get a message over here that it's been switched. Uh, and if you actually go to the lighting, it's switched uh, to the the blue profile, uh, which is the test, which are which is our second profile. So now what we need to do is make a way on this profile to go back. So let's go back to the keyboard. And right now this is empty. So I'm going to select the same button. You can have a different button, but I'm going to select the same button and go to switch profile and I'm going to hit specific profile again and in the select we're going to go back to default now and then switch lighting back to default save so now when I press this again it switches back to default and uh, I go to lighting 
this is the red lighting I press page up switches to blue lighting switches back to red lighting whenever I press it so this is how you quick swap your profiles uh, when you want to do it so use this for this so this is what I mainly use it for so I have my default profile um, that is saying that it's gonna go to uh, my Valorant TSCO profile which is this one and uh, I'm just reverting it back so when I press this it goes back to my Valorant CSGO profile. So the only thing different in this profile is my control key is binded to the C key because uh, so if if you, I don't know if you guys can relate, but if you guys played um, uh, a lot of Call of Duty in your early like gaming years like me, um, you're really used to pressing C to uh, do crouches. But when you switch uh, to a game like uh, Valorant and CSGO, it makes more sense to crouch with control. Uh, just because uh, if you're crouching with C, you're, if you use your index finger to crouch with C, then you can't really strafe right because your middle finger is usually on W and your ring finger is on um, A. Uh, so you don't have any finger to press D, so you can't really strafe right while crouching, and crouching is very essential. So I like to go back to it, but the thing is, since I'm also used to Call of Duty, sometimes I just mistakenly press C, so and then it doesn't crouch. So what I do for my CSGO Valorant profile, I bind uh, Control to C. So now, when I uh, press Control or C, it crouches regardless. So um, that's just one simple use that I use. It just makes it a lot better for me. Uh, but you guys can, you know, have anything on your different game profile. Let's say if you're playing League of Legends, you can bind keys to uh, like certain. I know I have League, League, of, League of Legends macros like uh, the Leeson macro where you can uh, do the quick insect. So you can have something like that on there or like any type of macros. And uh, you have an easy way to switch back and forth um, between profiles by just pressing uh, the page up button. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, uh, just comment down below. I usually get to every single comment and reply. I try to help as much as I can since I don't. Uh, the, my channel is not really that big right now, so I'm able to respond to every single comment, uh, and I have the time to do that. So uh, yeah, just make sure to comment down below if you have any questions or you're stuck with anything. And if it worked for you, if it helped you out, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Where are you?